versus Light and Butlip. They need a cool team name. Zane, what do you got? Butt Light. <laughs> okay, that's the working title. Hopefully Twitch chat can come up with something else, but it's the real neutral. I Give me some Battlefield, because that's where we're at. And no Foxes versus two Foxes. I mean, if uh, we'll see if it's the Fox team or the seeding that's going to end up winning it, but... Across the board right now, still pretty even on the start. What are we looking for here, Zane? Uh, well, what I'm looking at right now is that... Can some NorCal person who has played these guys on Slippy tell me which one is Light and which one is Butlet? Because whichever one is 90 Cranker 420 is going off, is moving so smooth right now and has made so much space so far. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I've gotten word that Butlet is player two. Yo, Butlet is looking hot right now. He's, he's looking we... really smooth. He's going to be first to die, but I feel like he racked up so much damage before that. Uh, well, uh, still, as long as uh, Johnny's able to hold on to the stock right now, I mean, maybe we'll kind of see the point of, you know, this stock tank Falcon, as uh, I always think it's interesting when Sheiks end up taking space, or they're the aggressors kind of an idea. Uh, I just feel like, you know, across the board, oh, great defense from, from Johnny right there, keeping Shroomed alive just for a little bit longer, but 170. Nine is finally gonna take his stock. They've got to take his stocks faster, Zane. I was watching the video wrong. I got uh, okay. No worries, a little turned around, but I was just saying is they're I mean, these guys are living so long. I kinda feel like a double fox team should be able to finish these stocks faster. Yeah, I agree. I think Johnny has done a really, really good job surviving, especially like you pointed out that first stock was so long. They're gonna close that one out on Shroomed. Can they double team Johnny at all? No, he actually manages to get the damage instead. I was gonna say is it's it's one of those you know you expect to run away or you expect your you know oh we have a two v one let lets them walk away or run away and Johnny's like I'm just gonna run at you guys instead and you won't be expecting it and it worked yeah it's the little things but as it stands right now is that a... I'm never quite sure on some of these if it's a double knee or if there's another hitbox tossed out there but both foxes are gonna find them oh. oh. Oh, the that effort. was big. That was actually huge. Johnny he would have tried sacrificed save... roomed. <laughs> well, well, so so Johnny tried to save both of them because if he hits him, then then Shroomed gets to up B again, and Johnny gets to up B again as well. Yeah, but he would have been at like he would Shroomed would have been sent like super far off stage. I don't know if he could have made it back at that point. M maybe, maybe. Either way, it's a good effort. I like it. Holy crap! There goes the pasta pioneer. He's off the side. He's looking for Mars. Oh no! Oh, oh come on! on. This no! Is so rude. <laughs> That's so rude. What's oh well? What's more disrespectful? Pulling out the chain, or switching to Zelda? Switching to Zelda, for sure. 100%. Easily, that's like the that's the tears of what Sheik disrespect can be. Yeah, chain you at least say, this is a no-fly zone where I put the chain in some mm. ways, but like, no, 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 no. The, the Zelda is way more disrespectful, I think. Oh, God. I mean, he didn't even do anything. Did he Did he at least taunt or something? I don't know. He just he just down tilted a bunch. Like, cool. you're so cool, Dewan. Good stuff. <laughs> That's the one thing. Remember, Mainly... remember when you switched to Zelda against Zane? Maybe you shouldn't. What do you, what do you think about that? Oh, some more salt coming out here, but oh god, are they? Doesn't even need this hit. Knee is just strong enough. The damage gets racked up continuously, and these guys are just passing these foxes back and forth to each other like it's, you know, just another day in the office. They're just clocking, and they're like, hey, I've got some uh, paper. Here's your inbox. I've got a fare for you. You know, yeah. fax it to me. I think it really comes down to what you were saying in the first game. The red team has been so good at closing out the stocks when they need to, and the green team's struggling a bit. Great shine spike right there from from Butlet. It's not going to close things out quite, though, and he actually dies right after, or Light does. The, the red team is just managing to kill them when they need to, and their edge guarding, especially, I think has been a big part of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would love to see uh, both of these foxes start playing a little bit closer to each other. Right there! You know, a random stray hit on the Sheik just is... Oh, hey, look, I can react to this. Let me just get some uh, some free kill right now. You know? Yeah. Also, I feel like Camp Falcon and Sheik, they're both, you know, long, lanky people, right? Their hitboxes extend. If you're mm. playing, you know, kind of spread out, you're giving them the movement and opportunity. You start playing a little bit closer together and you force these guys to play close together, there might be some friendly fire that you can uh, get them to sneak into each other. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. I, I think just... 
other than friendly fire too, Fox is the best close character. Oh, what save! Did you see that yeah, drill? That was a great trade. That was a great save. And Light manages to transition it into a kill on Shroomed immediately after. And he's keeping it going on S2J right now. Light sort of yeah. playing out of his mind in the last 20 seconds or so. I would say that they've uh, completely evened things up right now. I mean, in terms of percent at least, it's still maybe not quite there, but the momentum, dude, I'm feeling it. Ooh, I'm no longer cool. feeling it. Yeah. I'm, I'm no longer feeling it. It's, the the <laughs> feeling know. has gone away. Well, let's see. Let's see what they can do with this on S2J. That up here is going to kill. Can they do anything to Shroomed right here? Horses the oh, roll, but Light doesn't get it. Yeah, that grab could have been a lot of percent. Unfortunately, not quite there, but still, they're finding damage. Oh my god. I, Light's target switching, man. He's so good at just recognizing what's happening next to him in, in, in an instant. And oh, a little bit of a hand off. God, I see moments, little peaks where uh, Team Bud Light is able to find, you know, oh. take it. Holy crap! I I don't know what happened in the last 30 seconds, but it's 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 so in Green Team's favor right now. It's not even funny. The momentum is there. They are feeling each other. They just have to seal the deal on this, and it's a one game apiece situation. Oh, great little slide off there from Butlet to stay alive. They're, They're just scrapping, dude. and I think scrapping's the right idea. I think scrapping's the right idea for the Green Team. You're Fox. You're so fast. You have the best frame data in the game when you're. And the shine. They That's trade! Fine. What oh, the oh. save? They say oh. what is saving Johnny? But they're both off stage. Oh, you, you could have trusted your teammate they're to up still smash alive. there. You could have trusted your teammate to up smash there. And now you hit him up instead. This could be huge. <gasps> if they One's dead. 1v1. One 1v1 one. One 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 right now. But it's on FD and he's still at crouch cancel percent. That poly is gonna do it. Oh man. All right, I was worried for a hot second for for Team Bud Light just because I saw for a moment the thing that I talked about, you know, 20 minutes ago, the saves coming out, the juggles, getting your partner back alive, and Johnny was able to secure a kill. Mm -hmm. You know, if it wasn't for, you know, a decently timed, uh, you know, back air conversion to take S2J out for like the eighth different time that he should have been dead, I mean, that would have been a 2v1 against, you know, uh, against you, and... It was, you know, and there are with universes stock, with another stock on top of it, too, because yeah. he managed to close out the stock. Yeah, I mean, there are universes where it's a two to zero right now because of that defensive play. But honestly, light, dude, you're, you're saying it. I'm picking it up. He is he is putting this team on his back. I mean, not to say that Butlet is doing poorly, but good yeah, Lord, I, maybe on a different level. I mean, in game one, it felt like all Butlet that slide off from Johnny was so good. Oh, my God, disgusting. Um, but I, I think these two players, Bud, Butlet and Light, are both so strong in their own regard. They've shown that they can both turn it on whenever they need to. Or not whenever they need to, but, you know, they, they can switch into overdrive at a moment's notice. Very true. Uh, but you can still see, it's kind of like this, you know, very back-to-back, -back, you know, S2J and, uh, and Shroom find themselves in, you know, constantly kind of covering each other, and the moment they get split, that's where I'm most afraid. Cheek dies, Johnny's gonna take a ton of damage, if not death himself too, and that's the game plan. That's what they have, this double Fox team has to be doing. You know, it's this little bit of target switching, a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh, damage, a little bit of scrapping here and there. Mm -hmm. I think you yeah, have the right idea, Zane. I think the way that they, sh they should be playing the double Fox, the, 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 what I've been able to differentiate between them is that Butlet is really good, like, opening up and he manages to rack up percent really quickly and pass to light and then light is just so cognizant of what is going on around him at any moment needles. the one's needles are insane by the way I he's always can't had the best that. needles put some respect on his name uh that but what light is just so good at converting when he has the opportunity room okay, messes up he screws up had for him <laughs> take the respect right off of his name now but no i'm gonna blame pokemon on that even to the pros it's uh one of those instances where it's just you can't see your character half the time and it is just yeah. annoying yeah. i mean say what you will about frozen stadium at least on some of the transformations it's easier to see your character oh my god can they kill him no and it's actually gonna be butt with send off stage can we save no this is really huge oh man what a swing for the red team off of just a few wrong decisions by light and butlet I mean, that's the, as practiced as you are, you cannot give the pros, you know, an ounce of weakness. Any mistake is capitalized on so fast, and 
you know, whether it's one or two knees later, I mean, these guys are not going to screw this stuff up. I mean, they know this. And you can see they're so desperate to get the kill on Shroom. They've just been up smashing a bunch and actually hitting their teammates a lot the whole time, too. <laughs> okay. All right, 200%. To yeah, I, I think we're fine. Oh, okay. Living? Is he living? He is. Imagine the cojones to hold on to the ledge, knowing that you're no longer invincible, and still getting the uh, the meteor cancel. Oh, weak back air. One more chance. No, he's going to go down there and end it. That's going to do Doesn't it. Doesn't matter. We're head to a game four. Or, excuse me, a... Um, is it yeah, best game of five four. now? Yeah, yeah, these are these are best of fives. Oh, thank God, because I want to see more of this match. They, these guys are so good. Yeah, I this match I feel like got away from from Bud Light a little faster than they wanted to. At the beginning of it, it looked pretty solid. They found those quick, you know, first double kills. They were able to get on a little bit of good damage, separate them a little bit so they couldn't save each other anymore, and then, you know, boom, to the heavens with both of them. But then after that, I mean, SDG and Shroom, they were inseparable. They were playing around each other with such fluidity. It just looked like a, a hive mind approach to the game. I don't yeah. know what you can do to, to split this up, but, I mean, you can't pick Dreamland, right? They're, Johnny's going to live forever in a day. You yeah, just I think, run it back. I do think you're right that picking Dreamland might not be the best idea. Running it back seems seems right. I think that, really, there was such a huge swing over on the right side of the stage um, <laughs> where Butlet and Light were trying to contest, and they just got grabbed in need, and then trying to save, got grabbed in need again, and sometimes it just comes down to that, you know? Sometimes it comes down to one bad bounce. So, I don't feel bad about them running it back. No, not at all. They need to get this kill onto Shroom, though, or at least some good damage. But they're not going to have it. So far, but on the other side of the stage, light. Yeah, this is oh, the whole... Oh, that's a little bit of a non I would think. I mean, this is... Uh, I mean, you can just see how practiced Johnny was. He was sitting up on that platform, letting Shroom just handle the entire ledge and everything. And it was just, hey, cool. Anybody comes up here, I got them. Otherwise, uh, just keep down smashing. You know, you do you, you do you, fam. Johnny feels to me like he's gonna hold on to this dock again for a while, and that's really the problem. The problem for Light and Butler, right? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Johnny is still on his uh, first dock. That is not a good sign, and. If uh, history is anything to go by, he's probably have, a, you know, at least another 60% to live with. You know, I expect to see 200. How many stocks do you think Johnny loses this game? I'm going to take, uh, I'll take two total. This one and one more. Two total? Yeah. I you say he's he'll take another one. Yeah, I think he'll end at two stocks. I don't, I don't think he's going to How lose. does he get the edge guard, defend himself, going back to stage, and save his teammate with two aerials? What? What did this guy eat for breakfast? How does I, he do I, this stuff? I, I don't think Johnny's gonna lose another stock. I think I think that he's gonna end it on three. Oh no. I I put, I didn't put enough respect on his name. Ooh, Come on, I, Team Bud Light, focus, Johnny. <laughs> Give him the percents. I need to be right. My predictions. Do I get Do I get uh, channel points for this prediction? Oh god damn it! Come on, Johnny. God yes. Damn it. Okay, now to lose. Now you have to lose hard. Let's go, red team. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag no favorites. Uh, he was so Come close, on. man. Oh, where's the Zelda? Oh, okay, that was, that was pretty sick. <laughs> I love the we're almost done. They both just throw themselves off the screen. They're like, I'm gonna get the last hit. No, I'm gonna do it. It's you know, it's a kill steal almost. Oh. Uh, 